All right, thanks, Alex. Duluth Police Department responded to two reports of shots fired on Saturday night and in the early morning hours on Sunday. The first incident occurred at 8.15 p.m. on Saturday between the 2400 block and 2600 block of West 1st Street. Officers were called to the scene with reports of multiple shots fired upon getting to the scene. Officers learned that the shooting was between two moving vehicles and they were able to find evidence at the scene that was consistent with that report. Now, suspects have not been located and no injuries have been reported. In the second incident, it happened at the 20th block of West 11th Street. Officers responded to a report of shots fired there as well just after 4.30 a.m. on Sunday. Now, when officers arrived on the scene, they learned that there were sounds of multiple shots fired before several vehicles fled the scene. Evidence was also found at that scene as well that was consistent with that report. The area was canvassed and no suspects have been located. No injuries have been reported in relation to this incident. Meanwhile, Duluth Police Chief Mike Tuscan responded to these incidences on his Facebook page on Sunday. He said that this was the fifth shots fired incident just this week and the eighth incident in the month of August. In a post today, he said, quote, once again, these incidents demonstrate that we have the guns in the hands of people who should not have them and who have the propensity to use violence to resolve conflict without regard for the sanctity of life or the safety of innocent people living in neighborhoods where errant shots a place people in immediate area at risk. He then went on to say that these cases are all being investigated. Many times weapons used in these incidences are stolen, he said. Tuscan urges the public to keep track of their firearms and not leave them in vehicles.